morning, I'm Davide Gerzi, I'm System Engineer at ST Microelectronics. Today I'm going to present you this uh, ST end-to-end -end solution for uh, Smart Home, which includes uh, the audio front-end, the cloud connectivity, edge computing and different uh, IoT devices. These IoT nodes uh, can be directly connected to the cloud, like this uh, off-the-shelf lamp, which uses Wi-Fi, or can be connected to a local gateway, uh, for example via Bluetooth. Uh, these three nodes here are composed of an STM32, a Bluetooth Low Energy Radio, and different kinds of sensors and actuators. Sensor data can be processed and collected directly into the cloud, as well as on the local gateway, making it very easy to add some trigger and some reaction to specific events or situations. The current implementation uses cloud services from Amazon, the Amazon Voice Services for the voice front-end, and the Amazon Web Services for managing the IoT devices. There is also a local implementation of the Amazon Web Services running on the Linux gateway called Greengrass. This allows most of the functionalities to stay active even if the internet connection is not available. We can do different things on this demo. For example, we can activate the shutter using a simple swipe gesture, recognized using the proximity sensor on a different node. Or we can send a message to a smartphone when the last bottle is removed from a dispenser. Now let's see how I can interact with the IoT object using my voice, taking advantage of the uh, Alexa skills. Alexa, turn off the light in the kitchen. Okay. I can also control the other IoT devices using a custom skills that we defined for this demo. Alexa, open Smart Home demo. Welcome to the IoT Voice and Edge prototype. Open the window. The window has been opened. Tell me the temperature. The temperature is 74.66 Fahrenheit degrees. How many bottles have been taken today? 64 bottles have been taken today. Stop. Have a nice day. The reference design will be available soon, so be sure to check our website at st.com. And uh, thanks for the attention.